Yo guys, this is Sal from ICTS Solutions. I'll be showing you how to upgrade your PC uh, from uh, standard 3.5 inch uh, hard disk drive to um, SSD. Um, I bought um, uh, a Samsung V9 SSD 850 EVO disk drive, which is uh, 250 gigabyte of uh, capacity. And uh, what I've got here is I've got um, a HP 8200 uh, small form factor PC uh, which has been lying about uh, around my house for two years and uh, it's not been doing much. So I've decided to uh, upgrade it to um, SSD for um, uh, better performance and uh, loading up uh, application um, fairly quickly. Um, I'm hoping the PC will turn into um, a media PC uh, where I'll be streaming my videos and uh, music uh, around the house. Okay guys, so if we um, uh, get started. Well, before we do start, we do need um, a screwdriver to remove four screws um, uh, around the caddy. Um, I'm currently using a hexagonal um, uh, um, screw end. Well, it depends um, uh, what screws are being used uh, in the PC or a laptop that you guys are going to open. So if you unscrew and remove the uh, casing, and once we're in, we need to uh, remove the SATA cable. As we've got a DVD drive um, uh, which is sat on top of the uh, uh, casing. So we've got a green um, a lever here. If you push it in and then slowly slide the uh, DVD drive in. That's the DVD um, out, and the uh, next thing you need to do is, you've got a lever here, so if you just um, uh, lift the lever up gently, and hopefully it should reveal your um, old hard disk drive. Okay, so we've got four screws, well two on each side, and we need to remove this so we can take out the um, old disk. Okay, so if we just start to unscrew the four screws, um, also, you do need to uh, take health and safety in consideration because uh, the caddy may have um, sharp edges and uh, you don't want to uh, end up uh, cutting your fingers. Okay, that's four screws. Uh, before you do take the um, uh, disc out, you need to uh, familiarize of what um, where your disc is pointing. Um, as it as the new disc need to go in exactly the same way the old one is okay so if you pull the old one out and if I get into my uh, new disc okay so we've got um, an SSD 250 gigabyte disc um, it's quite light uh, compared to uh, what I had in here. Okay, so if I just um, gently slide the disc in. Okay, once it in, you need to uh, screw the screws back on. So it should hopefully um, uh, hold the disc in place. Sometimes it can be um, a little bit difficult to uh, screw the screw backs on because they just have to be patient when you are uh, screwing them on. Okay guys, once uh, the disc is in the uh, caddy, you can uh, put it back in. 
So basically, let me just show you where the disc, disc is going. So you've got um, four slots. You've got one, two, three, four. So once you get the two screws in on this side, um, you don't need to do uh, none of the hard work because uh, the disc will just slide itself in position. Just put it in, then just push the lever down and hopefully the disc should slide into the, the um, SATA connector. Okay. The disc uh, or DVD drive that we took out, we just need to uh, slide it back in and uh, put the SATA cable back in as well. Once that's done, you need to uh, put your uh, case back on. Hopefully just slide in and uh, screw this back. And there you go, there's my uh, small 4 factor with uh, 250 GB of uh, SSMD. Um, in the next video I will be demonstrating how to um, uh, install um, Windows 10 from uh, USB uh, drive which I created using Rufus uh, mounting ISO onto it. Okay guys, thanks for watching um, my video and look out for more step-by-step -step guide videos. Please do like, share and also subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.